in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Joseph was exalted and Pharaoh said, I am Pharaoh. And in nothing will it be hindered. He would only be second based on the ranking of the palace. But in terms of administration, Pharaoh said, don't ask me. Anything that has to do with the administration of Egypt, come to Pharaoh, to Joseph. So Jesus has been exalted. In John 14 and verse 13 to 14, why am I teaching you this? Because that is the name that will bring you a very permanent victory tonight. John 14, 13 and 14. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, take note, in my name there does not just mean chanting the alphabet J-E-S-U-S. -S, uh -uh. With the consciousness of my office, that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Verse 14. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I shall do it. Hallelujah. With the little grace and honor that God has given some of us, we've had the privilege of using the honor of this office even to open doors for others. There are people that have just written some things on paper. Please, sir, help this person with my signature. And... As limited as we are as human beings, you will be amazed at the doors that that signature opens. The person carrying it may not deserve it, but he's not going on his own. There is an office. Are we together? If the president minutes on you and says, look for a job for him, with all this unemployment noise, look for a job. The person who, looks, who does not look for that job will most likely be the one to leave that job for you. So the person knows there is pressure on the person executing it. Even if it means creating another committee to put you there. So, he gave us his name. You know what that means? He gave us his office. And said function. He said, listen, let me warn you. Satan will not respect you because of you. Make sure that every time you function, walk within the consciousness of this office this office most believers call j-e-s-u-s -E and yet they are not walking in the name to walk in the name does not mean to recite it we call j-e-s-u-s -E so that the nations will know that the one we are talking about who is lord and christ is jesus the son of the living god but the name is not jesus the name is his lordship you see i have seen the power of names I worship team people will sing it all the time there are thrones there are names there are all kinds of things it is true seated in this place koinonia is a collection of extremely successful people by the grace of god and by the privilege of leadership i know some of the people seated here and outside and around connected to this ministry i know the kind of power that their offices provide there are people when they like you, you will never go to the embassy again to stand for visa. Human beings. It doesn't matter whether the embassy is locked. You will still enter without entering. Names. Now listen carefully. There are people when they love you, their names become a receipt. You will pay for anything, anywhere. Credited to the name. There are times that admission will be over, but certain names will extend the date. There are hospitals when you go to, you can go in a name and you will not pay one naira. 
the name paid for it listen when he says in my name that means you must have the consciousness of how far and how exalted this name is the name of a governor will not solve national issues because he's a governor the jurisdiction his name as governor already created the boundary of his power are we together he cannot another governor cannot go to another state and impose things but the president as the commander-in-chief within that 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 region a monarch can stand and make decisions on behalf of his territory there can be a land dispute and they take it to the monarch and he can look at it and say you know what i decide i decide look at judges magistrate judges they literally can choose whether a human being should live or die can you imagine that somebody can come it does not matter except god helps him by mercy but naturally speaking a judge can actually sit down and in five minutes reduce somebody's lifetime to one more day names you can sit in a position and give a verdict and say for the rest of your life you will spend it in prison and hit that thing and that's the end of it any other discussion you discuss in prison when Jesus gave us his name find out what the name did before he died find out what you see the name he gave us is not the one that was used when he was walking on earth is the name that was given after the coronation was over and he gave us that office listen carefully if say for instance i have a wristwatch here and let's assume this wristwatch is say a security wristwatch that whoever wears this wristwatch will be treated like joshua selman are we together now if i remove this wristwatch and i give someone when the person wears that wristwatch there are security doors is that true come on technology all you need to do is use your palms or use something like this so i have this watch connected and it opens the security door and someone else wears it even if it's a baby and the baby plays around the door the door does not know the difference between the baby and the owner whoever is the wearer of that security mechanism the door was designed to open for him so when jesus walked upon the earth he used his name he sent the disciples that means listen carefully when you stand in the name of jesus exactly what would have happened if jesus were there is what should happen now that you are there in his name someone may have a parcel for me and say joshua selman i have this for you and i can say sorry i may not be able to come but i'm going to send someone if i send that one the person will collect the parcel is that true there are politicians who send people to represent them and when you are quoting them you will say the governor said this even though the governor was not there if the person makes a mistake of donating something that he did not discuss with the governor as far as the state is concerned they will say governor you donated 50 million where's our money he will have to pay and go and flog it out with whoever misrepresented him but as far as the state is concerned governor if you are a man of integrity you must bring that money so when you stand and look at demons by age they are older than you by experience from a human standpoint they have it more than you but you call on a name i told you that god sits on an altar that that covenant of his name is not an emotional thing it has nothing to do whether your voice is sounding nice or not it has nothing to do whether you are wearing jean trousers or you are wearing suit once you invoke that office the power behind that office is released immediately the name of jesus someone shout the name of jesus I know what the name of Jesus is able to do that office Ephesians 1 21 tells us he has been exalted Ephesians 1 21 far above principality these are offices too far above powers offices far above might and dominion and every other office not only in this world 
but in the world that is to come you can arrange thrones you can arrange names but none will come and stand before the name of Jesus can I tell you this when you stand and rebuke demon spirits just because you are a Christian you'll be surprised how they will look at you and not even respond to you but you come by the name blessed is he who comes in the name this is the reason why we stand with authority and say in the name of Jesus Satan demons yokes we command you go and we expect compliance because the power that backs us my name does not carry much power as a human being there are many other people carrying my name but there's no other person who sits in that office Christ himself sits alone and he's now brought us to be partakers of that name say I am a partaker of the name listen you are not just a partaker of the off of the nature you are also a partaker of the office seated with Christ it is called number three number three the last is called the power or the blood the blood oh dear I feel so sad eh? I wish I had the time to pieces this thing for you the blood but let's see what we can do we're ready for the communion now we'll pray somebody is 10 or 15 minutes left to wave something that hundred years hundred years 50 years could not wait I'm not entertaining you believe me The accuser of the brethren finds a way to come before the holy judge. You know the song? Points a finger at the faults and failings of the saints. Won't you judge them now? But I have an advocate in heaven's courts My redeemer and the high priest of my soul Jesus Christ the Lamb The Holy Lamb of God Nathaniel Bassi's song Very, very powerful song Eternal saving blood I don't have to cry For you have paid the price Sit down Let me teach you something about blood Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11 For the life of the flesh is in the blood what is in blood life say life what when you hold your ATM what is in your ATM you see that now there is something that is captured in your ATM are we together now yes the blood of anything carries the life of that thing not just the blood of Jesus the blood of a goat is where the life of a goat flows. The blood of a human is where his human life flows. There is a relationship between blood and life. Blood represents life. Write it down, please. Blood represents life. This is the first quick information I want you to know about blood. And this life is in levels. This life that is in the blood is in levels. Now, the second thing I want you to know about blood. From scripture, blood has always been used as a ransom. Write the word ransom. Very powerful word. 
ransom r a n s o m you know what a ransom is look up a ransom is the payment you make to release someone in captivity when they kidnap someone unfortunately like we have around our region the terrorists or kidnappers for whatever reason they demand a ransom that money that purchasing power that you bring to give them then they release the captive is found in blood so blood is currency in the realm of the spirit the same way naira and cobo and dollars and pounds are in the physical realm naira is actually an instrument of settlement and purchase in the realm of the spirit that you can use blood like you use money to buy things is called redemption when you redeem a thing you buy it back number one when you redeem a thing to redeem means to compensate for a default the idea of redemption talks of compensation a system of compensation for a default to redeem also means to regain possession to regain possession so blood has the purchasing power blood has the power of appeasal it can bring to an end contentions why am i teaching you about the blood before we take the communion proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2 is a very powerful and profound spiritual law please look up and read it as loud as you can ready one to go as the bird by wandering a swallow so a cause causeless shall not stand do you know what this means that means anytime a cause anytime any kind of demonic thing comes if there is no legal basis it will not work so the fact that it works it means that there is a cause because a curse causeless shall not stand now hear me as powerful as the name of jesus is when it has to do with dealing with matters of legalities in the spirit listen very carefully it is true that the word of god is powerful it is true that the name is powerful but there is a legal system in the realm of the spirit i told you here that ransom means the payment to bring a pizza because of a default when man fell we willingly gave our authority we willingly gave our lives we willingly submitted ourselves to the influence of satan he became the god of this world even the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now walks in the sons of disobedience now i have taught you in, in the, the, the previous series that many of these our precious forefathers and many of in ignorance many of them legitimately invited satan and through medium and priests and whatever it is they entered covenants seeking assistance from the realm of the spirit knowing that a body without a spirit is dead because they did not know the one true god satan masquerading as god came and deceived them and most of them willingly handed over i hope you know i taught you last week the blood in you now i hope you know that your blood is older than you except you don't believe biology because it was because of that blood that you came the blood was already there for you to have arrived is that true without that blood you would not be born by one man's sin and then through the means of reproduction by blood the sin nature continued to multiply and you know that the blood from a child medical doctors teach us that it comes from the man that was why God did not allow any man play the fatherly role of Jesus.
the Holy Ghost himself there was no problem having an earthly woman since the blood comes from man if a man participated in the birth of Jesus he would be born as sin immediately he would not even need any communion because he's already sin so he came as the sinless one are we together now that is the qualification that the kind of appeasal that the yokes and the causes and the covenants demand based on the legal system of heaven it will require blood that did not come from a human male and that is impossible based on the law of reproduction so the holy spirit came and played that fatherly role jesus came although with a human body but not blood from a mortal man understand this very carefully i'm building for you the case why the blood of jesus is so precious so that is god's blood is that true because <laughs> When Jesus Christ, listen carefully, I told you that blood has a measure of purchasing power. When Jesus Christ gave his blood, because his blood is a representation of his life, when he gave that life, he was sinless. That means he was not deserving of judgment. Are we together now? And watch the wisdom even though it was god that allowed jesus to die but jesus made sure that satan played a role in his dying why because somebody is about to be blamed and when satan was moving through men he was happy doing what he was doing to kill jesus of course satan would not kill him. you know what i mean to participate in the flesh in crucifying him when you kill an innocent man Listen carefully. When you kill an innocent man, according to the law of scripture, the blood of that man starts crying. And when it cries, God will hear. And whatever the blood says to do, it will be done. Cain and Abel. Is that true? Abel was dead, but his blood cried. Now, when Satan did all that he did, the blood of Jesus started crying. And instead of crying to say, avenge me, he says, no, as a reward for killing an innocent man, release the one who is guilty. You see now. Release the one who is guilty. So, every time Satan stands before you and claims that it is true, that your fathers worship idols and based on legal grounds you should not experience breakthrough you should experience barrenness you tell him you are right if i'm the only one who is going to fight this case but i have an advocate are we together now this is very powerful the blood of jesus is the legal system that breaks every hold every hold of covenants and ordinances that speak against the saints how does that happen by reminding satan that if it was just for the guiltless to become guilty then it is just for the guilty to become guiltless very simple equation you have to understand this about blood the blood of jesus speaks it speaks mercy for the saints it speaks release for the saints but it speaks judgment for satan and his cohorts and now watch this the blood of jesus is even an overpayment because whatever it is that gave the devil legal access every blood came by earthly stands whether animals or men but the blood of jesus was not of an earthly origin are we together now so there is no bill that that blood cannot pay are we together how many of you are trusting god for financial breakthrough okay drop your hands you are going to understand what i'm teaching you now if elon musk or bill gates gives you access to his resources question relative to what he has and relative to your bills will it become a concern again 
are we together probably what you will spend in a day is what summarizes your entire bills so that is an overpayment now when you hold that if anybody looks at you and say i remember you owed me five years will you run no what is there is sufficient you can even tell me i can i can bless you and still punish you and forgive you and bless you because of what i have now listen listen to me the blood of jesus is not just sufficient to pay for sin it is more than sufficient are we together now and then instead of speaking judgment to us it now speaks mercy and the blood of jesus is the basis for the ministry of mercy how do you apply the blood listen very carefully when satan who is the accuser of the brethren now comes as his culture is to accuse you of anything and then to make demands that on legal basis what was agreed by covenants of fathers and witchcraft should happen to you when you invoke the blood what happens is you disappear in the spirit from that scene and jesus is the one who stands there now when jesus stands there satan says it's not you i'm talking to this is the person i'm talking to but he now says the person has invited me i gave him authorization to invite me what then is your accusation against me and he remembers that there is no accusation that he could bring before jesus remember when jesus stood before pontius pilate it was an adumbration of man they tried to bring accusations but nothing could stand listen believers if you do not understand the power of the blood there cannot be redemption ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7 as we prepare to take the communion and pray the bible says we have redemption ephesians 1 7 we have redemption i told you what it means to redeem to redeem means to buy back to reclaim ownership and that happened through his blood even the forgiveness of sins according to the riches the wealth of his grace so i can stand before that demon spirit and say it is true that based on the ordinances of the fathers i deserve to live a defeated life but i'm standing here it is by the blood and the moment i invoke the blood the case is not about me again the case is about jesus and the moment jesus shows up there is absolutely no accusation as simple as what i'm saying is satan dreads your knowledge of this do you know why because you will be learning that the blood does not speak empty there is a system of compliance to what the blood says when the blood says you are not guilty it does not stop there there is a system that galvanizes all the forces in heaven to make sure that what the blood has said concerning you remains true over your life the blood of Jesus is powerful this is what I found when I found this I ran and I stood I say you may have legal access I don't even know who my forefathers are I don't know what they worshiped I only had they worship idols they worship all kinds of things but now I have come and I come by the blood I come by the blood I come by the blood when Satan looks for me he does not find me but he will find Jesus there and Jesus will ask him what are you looking for and he says I'm looking for a young man connected to a lineage that should authorize failure and he says he's no more here that person died didn't you see him I have been crucified with Christ listen can I tell you this the blood is proof that Jesus died is that true and when he died it was the appeasal because remember the last enemy to be destroyed is death that means ultimately Satan wants to get that dominion but his primary assignment is after getting every other thing he kills you the blood proves that Jesus died but the blood proves that you died too do you know what that means when Satan comes to accuse you and you bring the blood 
that means the blood says this case has been judged already why are you revisiting a case that has been judged the criminal who offended you has actually died but it's just that you are not the one who died the person who died gave you the blood as evidence to say the price has been paid listen if you owe somebody and the person says you owe me one million and i carry my one million and give you and you give the person did you pay for it yes it may not be your money but as far as payment is done if the person comes to accuse you and says it is not your money i know you don't have money it is my responsibility to now defend you who gave you the money is not the issue payment was made this is the receipt so the blood is proof that somebody died and hear me hear me every time you see death and blood it proves that it was not a normal blood in a normal death he was killed people in intelligence come and when they investigate and they see dead body the moment they see blood is most likely murder someone killed him a normal death will not easily bring blood out the blood of Jesus is not just proof that he died it's proof he was killed the question is who killed him whoever killed him is the person who killed me too and so there is a serious case of accusation here I have been crucified with Christ when he died I died when that price was paid in him and through his blood this entire price was paid now Satan does not have any legitimate ground look this thing is so simple but it can keep you in bondage forever I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that he died for me One more time I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died and that he died for me. Please lift up your communion. If you don't have one, please just wave it. Wave your hand and the ushers will reach you. If there's anyone who does not have a communion like this, all those who are following from their homes, you can get a communion set anything at all bread wafers whatever it is we want to invoke this mystery of the blood very quickly and then i pray liberty in this kingdom is through the blood a compensation for our defaults to regain possession of us we are now his property john chapter 6 while standing everyone please very quickly john 6 from verse 48 i'll read two scriptures and we'll take the communion i'll speak over our lives and then we are done but not done with your testimonies it will just be beginning i am the bread of life next verse it says your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead this is the bread which cometh down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. Reading to 58. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. The Jews therefore strove among themselves saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man, Listen, And drink his blood, Ye have no life. Except you eat his flesh, And drink his blood, You have no life. Are we together? Whoso eateth my flesh, And drinketh my blood, Had eternal life, And I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. 46. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. 
This in theology is called the doctrine of interpenetration. It's the mystery by which two people come into one. It's the same mystery that happens in marriage. When you say two have become one. That by the mystery of the communion, it reenacts your oneness. That anything that is not in Christ should not be found in you. It enforces that oneness. 57. As the living Father had sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me shall live by me. 58. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. One more scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11 23 for i have received of the lord he said paul is speaking now which i also delivered unto you that the lord jesus christ the same night which he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you he says do this not when you are hungry do this not when you think you need food do this with a consciousness that you are not only remembering me you are remembering that sacrifice that i died for you i paid that price for you 25. it says and after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped saying this cup is the new testament in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me verse 26 for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you do show that you have respect for the Lord's death you invoke through this mystery the reality of the power that was released in his death and by that blood listen many people take communion in church just because they grew up knowing that is a sacrament to be honored this you see right now is just an ordinary drink that was made by a professional caterer. This wafers here was made by someone else. This does not have everything Christ paid for, everything the blood of Jesus has released me from. I declare that he who the Son sets free is free indeed. And you begin to speak and release yourself, and we pray. Are you ready for that? lift it up please everyone father you gave us this as a practice of faith that as often as we take this with understanding we do this discerning your body father this is ordinary wafers and this is an ordinary drink but i pray in the name of jesus christ that the spirit of grace will rest upon this by reason of this communion, oh God, I pray that yokes and curses and covenants that have tied people down and will not let them rise, sabotaging their liberty in the spirit, I pray that as they take this, let an end come to it now. All the ordinances of the fathers, in the name of Jesus, this is the blood that speaketh better things. We have been redeemed by the blood. We take this with understanding that this now is no longer an earthly substance. That this is a representation of the blood of Jesus and the bread which is Jesus himself. And I decree and declare in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit that we take this with understanding and let it begin to produce great miracles in our lives. In Jesus name I pray. Now I'll give you five minutes. Please just open gently. When you take it, just begin to pray. You don't have to throw it, please. Be patient. Ushers, as soon as they take it, just begin to pass the bucket so that they can put it and then you begin to blast in tongues. In Jesus' name.
Begin to pray. Something is happening here now. Begin to pray. Something is happening right now. Just help those under the anointing. My God, something is happening here. Halande Zali Kaparakasko de Latiaba. An end is coming right now. Atmosphere shift now. Chains be broke. Break now. Holy Spirit. Heaven open. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Just help those under the anointing. Say, Father, I decree and declare that every legal access Satan has over my life, over my destiny, I invoke the blood and I declare right now causes yokes activities of ancestry be broken forever lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance someone is praying bring to an end don't fear the devil you have authority Redeemed by the blood. Shabakatos kata branta kaparuka pa. Eprakatos kati lakatos. You have no legal hold over my life. You have no legal hold. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. The blood speaks. You have no legal hold over my life. The blood speaks. be patient we're almost done but pray this is a matter of your destiny hallelujah say in the name of jesus covenants of delay covenants of untimely death ah, i tell you i sense i sense such such a strong anointing we're still praying covenants of retrogression covenants of failure by the blood of Jesus help them I declare be broken now open your mouth and pray be broken ordinances of fathers tying down the destinies of God's people be broken be broken redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood redeemed by the blood the ransom has been paid. A bezel has been made. The Father is satisfied. Shabakata bakatos koto brenda kete. Ekra kata barakatos koto brenda kete lekatosia. Embra kapa kato skoto brenda kete lekete bariyakata. 
Shane kate shala kaposko to prende kete balakata. Hallelujah. Shout it very loud and clear. Say seasons of weeping. Seasons of shame. Seasons of embarrassment. Seasons of retrogression. By the power of the blood. Come to an end in my life. Now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Seasons of shame. Reproach. Embarrassment. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come to an end. Come to an end. Palekata prakatos koto prakatashiata. Come to an end. Hallelujah. Now hear me. You are going to pray the prayer of recovery and restoration. Say in the name of Jesus. Everything that has left me. That should not have left. By the blood. By the name, by the word, I call you back to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Opportunities by the Spirit of God, relationships by the Spirit of God, resources by the Spirit of God, mantles by the Spirit of God. Restoration 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 by the Spirit of God. Restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. I know that I've stretched you a bit, but I beseech you by the message of God. Please be patient and let's just finish this. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of the waster. Listen, listen, your confessions matter. There is the spirit of a waster. It can waste lives, resources. Say again, in the name of Jesus, the spirit of a waster, the spirit of untimely death, the spirit of infirmity I challenge you by the blood you have no hold over my life go 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 lift your voice and pray go untimely death the waster coming as ill health the waster coming as disappointment in business the waster the Lord rebuke you The spirit of the waster. Ke baraka tosh koto brende ke para. Ekre katas katela katashubrehia. Makapranda katabarata. You are caused by the God of Heaven. Hallelujah. Shout it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. My place in life and destiny that has been hijacked by witchcraft and powers in the heavens i decree and declare clear away for me lift your voice and pray my place in life my space in destiny i take my place in life i take my place in destiny never will it be said adam where are you i take my place Aleda kaparu katesh, naka branda kaparekesh, e protos koto brandi gebalia, kapra kapara koto skoto brande gete balegetia. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Patterns and circles of negative occurrences by the blood of Jesus come to an end now. Open your mouth and pray. Patterns. It happened to your father. It happened to your mother. It happened to your elder brother. Now it's happening to you. Patterns. Cause it by the God of heaven. Negative cycles. Every two, two years, someone must die. Every six, six months, someone must die. Cause it by the God of heaven. Patterns. They don't stay in marriage. Patterns. They don't give birth to children. Cause it by the God of heaven. Please pray, please pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I sanctify by the blood of Jesus and the word of God. I sanctify my dreams. I sanctify my visions. I sanctify my prophetic experiences. No more manipulations. No more wrong revelations. Open your mouth and pray. Pray, declare sanctification. The devil will not manipulate your dreams to confuse you. The devil will not manipulate you with visions, lying visions. Please pray, a few more minutes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Huh. This prayer you are about to pray, something will happen to you. Say in the name of Jesus. Every spirit taking advantage of my dreams and appearing as a male or a female or animals to molest me and manipulate me by the blood of the eternal covenant. I curse you now. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every spirit coming as a man that sleeps with you, coming as a woman that sleeps with you, coming as animals, all kinds of demonic things, curse them by the God of heaven. hallelujah hallelujah praise God now you have prayed let me do the praying for you I want you to be sensitive we have a few minutes there is a heavy anointing here listen I'm going to as I mentioned that case the moment you are part of it the fire of God is coming upon you and bringing it to an end are we together now we have just about two three minutes when that happens i want you to bring the people out very quickly ushers we have to work together right now i declare anyone here who is a victim of causes right now at the count of three any cause sitting on your head sitting on your destiny causes that bring delay causes that bring failure causes at the count of three as you shout jesus let that fire come bring them out right now one two three shout jesus courses be broken now courses please help them whether you are an usher or not help them for sake of time courses every cause powered by an altar standing to destroy you i curse you by the god of heaven Very quickly, bring them out. Curses. I'm arresting curses. Negative pronouncements. Hallelujah. Please quickly bring them. Now all of you listen to me, I'm praying. 
right now every altar connected to anyone every altar connected to anyone's foundation that is powering negative patterns right now i'm telling you i'm seeing fire may that fire engulf that pattern now altars catch fire oh patash koteka bring them out altars catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire by the power of the holy ghost Anatas katika tepa rakatos, ebrekatos kuto sene katepa lakatos yata, embrekati katia. I want to pray. Everyone's destiny here that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit, you are living your life, but you know this is another man's script. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Hear me. Anybody who gave you anything or collected anything from you, knowingly or knowingly, and that became the token of witchcraft, every shrine where that thing is right now i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i set it on fire now tokens and instruments of connection i set it on a i set it on fire now i set it on fire now help that woman please i set it on fire now listen listen to me we're wrapping up a kiss was meant to be a system to show love and intimacy but judas used the same kiss as a sign for betrayal a handshake that is supposed to be a system of joy can be a sign to the enemy this is the one to destroy i'm praying again whatever left you knowingly or unknowingly whatever you receive knowingly or knowingly that is being used as a token of manipulation i pray for you koinonia by the god who called me be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hear me everyone who is in fraternity with darkness and because they are alive they sat on altars powering satan and not allowing people to move there are whole villages and territories they renew their life with young people and they remain there i call upon the god of heaven may the ground open and swallow them this moment help them please help them help them may the ground open up May the ground open and swallow them now. Bring them out, please. May the ground open and swallow them now. The spirit of poverty, of lack and hardship, all of you are graduates but no job everybody with masters phd yet nothing to write home about father let fire right now from heaven every altar that powers poverty and lack in the name of jesus be destroyed now be destroyed now hear me if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice that they have written your name and the date where you will die listen when you read the book of esther you will see that by divination 
a date was already put to attack the Jews. I pray for you that any spirit that has already signed in partnership with men and Satan that on so 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 day you will die of accident or on so 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 day you will die of any demonic thing I, I pray for you now may death leave you alone we're wrapping up hear me if you are a firstborn here in the name of Jesus I pray for you the cause that tries to follow firstborns the ones who open the womb they are the ones who become the the chief victims I pray for you here by the power that raised Christ from the dead if there is any altar stopping you from move, moving forward I command it right now at the count of three may fire come upon that altar one two three take that fire now take that fire now the cause of firstborns i curse you right now the cause of firstborns i capatas kotebata i curse you right now hear me if you are the first to rise beyond a certain level in your family you are the first to be lifted to that level i pray for you in the name of jesus the spirit that will want to fight you to bring back your family where they were in jesus name may that altar be destroyed now help them please may that altar be destroyed now two more prayers and we're done my goodness fire is burning in this place everything that has been tied in the realm of the spirit whether it's your favor your job your lifting your children your relationships in the name of jesus this moment by the power of the name the blood and the word i declare a release now i announce a prophetic jubilee now in the name of jesus christ final prayer please place your hand on your head prophetically your head is a sign of your glory you will be surprised at what will happen to you now I want to pray for you father you instructed that we do this I stand by the priestly the apostolic and the prophetic mantle and I pray over your people the head of a man is a symbol of his glory I want to pray for you something will happen to you now every spirit that has stolen your glory like the hair of Samson every spirit in the similitude of Delilah that has come to make that your glory is cut short financial Delilah's ministerial Delilah's career Delilah's in the name of Jesus at the count of three the same way the hair of Samson grew back in the realm of the spirit I pray everything that has tampered with your glory let the judgment fire of god rest on it now rest on it now i make this declaration by prophecy therefore that in the name of jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant as you are laying your hands on your head in the name of Jesus, you will never go down again. You will never go down again. In the name of Jesus, we've overshot our time. Lift whatever communion, if you came with any extra communion set for me to speak over. 
we'll finish the balance of this next week during the miracle service but please lift whatever if you brought anything as a point of contact i just want to pray and speak over it for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare all these communion sets that you are lifting in the name of jesus they are blessed as you take them with understanding they will no longer be ordinary bread and wafers but they will represent the power of god at work in your body let there be healing for you let there be total restoration there will be tears some testimonies as a result of this in the name of jesus christ amen and amen very quickly let me make the altar call our time is gone you are here and you are saying apostle even though it's time i need jesus it is true that i prayed it is true that i shouted amen it is true that i fell under the anointing we have just a minute for this and we're done thank you so much for your patience i cannot end this meeting without giving you an opportunity to come to jesus we have just one minute for you you are saying apostle i truly want to make it right with jesus or you are saying apostle my life has gone haywire i need the grace of god i need restoration wherever you are please leave your seat and come and stand right here i know that our time is gone let's clap for them as they come even if it is one person i know that someone needs to come to jesus don't be in a hurry going that you miss salvation jesus is calling you koinonia celebrate them they are coming to jesus all the overflows walk to your projector screen walk to your leds those who are in here keep coming run to jesus we have one minute for you but please run to jesus he wants to give you a new beginning this is what happens when we come to the house of god hallelujah are you coming quickly 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 please if you're coming come and stand as i lead you in this prayer my god look at these little children let's give them a big big god bless you hallelujah praise god thank you for making this bold decision can you lift your right hand high above your head those who are coming to join them join them very quickly say this loud and clear say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive eternal life into my spirit i receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness i declare that i reign forever from today and forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of jesus declared righteous by redemption in jesus name father thank you for these ones you have brought them out by your spirit i declare that the grace that keeps will keep them the grace that lifts will lift them i declare that you begin a new walk i commend you to the holy spirit and to the word you will begin a new journey with god a journey that will only be from one victory to the other be blessed in jesus name i pray thank you very much for making this bold decision may i request that you quickly move and join the counselors move to my right which is your left let's celebrate them as they go they'll have a word with you very quickly and then you'll return to your seats thank you so much for your patience next week will be our miracle service for the month of march hallelujah it's going to be a continuation in another dimension of what god is doing so please do well to invite as many to connect and then to be here we are going to pray this is a season that god is determined that your glory must be manifest and nothing will stop you from experiencing the grace of god in jesus name i pray hallelujah now do remember one last time we've been praying every night and then thursdays let's just stretch through this week so that at least we can balance it with the miracle service so we're still fasting on thursdays and every night remember between 11 and 5 choose any one hour and just pray and the lord will grant you grace in jesus name one more time i appreciate all of you who have traveled from far to make it here the lord bless you in jesus name please rise up on your feet as we share the grace and fellowship the grace of our lord jesus Christ. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the vision to yourself 
share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto preka teka nekata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.